The Suns, they have gone into this offseason and completely reshaped their roster. They now have Frank Vogel leading the way, and Devin Booker is the lone player on the squad that was a member of the 2021 NBA Finals team. Can't say enough about Book. Like, I'm at a loss for words, you know, just how he approaches the game, how he's just a leader of this team, this organization, how he brings it every single day, and we just follow his his imprint, and, you know, we, we rally around him. With Book, you've, you've seen him, you're familiar with his game, but are you, have you expected this level of play? from him that he yes showed. like i don't understand why this is such a surprise to anybody like he's been doing this since day one i mean they might not have been playoff wins but his show his skills from since his rookie year and a lot of people overlook that and then see him go 45 and think it's something new nah he's always been on this type of time and this is love for the game his humility for just life in general just he's a team builder like all the things you want in a superstar he brings it and he doesn't say much about it a lot of people don't uh, write fluff stories or pieces about what he brings every single day but we see it and we appreciate it and you start to see it on a national scale the last few years with them being a successful with us being a successful team uh, but he's everything you need in a player uh, on both ends of the floor uh, out in the community just man can't speak enough about how great he is and as Miss Andrews alluded to, this Suns roster has been completely reconstructed as you guys can see, bringing in 16 new players with Devin Booker being the lone constant of the former Suns team. Book always said that instead of leaving Phoenix and trying to join a super team that he'd rather make one in Phoenix. And he got exactly what he asked for, as the Suns have acquired Kevin Durant and have traded for star Bradley Beal to form a new big three in Phoenix. Beal last season averaged 23.2 points to go along with 5.4 assists and 3.9 rebounds. The Suns get yet another dynamic scoring option at the two in which I'm sure Book will officially take over the point guard duties due to his recent performance in the playoffs last season. The Suns finished fourth in the West with the 45 and 37 record. Suns seem to be pushing all their chips towards the middle and going all in to secure that elusive title and they just might be able to do it but they'll certainly have their work cut out for them as they have to rally the best of the best out of the West and they also have to be mindful of the likes of the Celtics and Bucks as well due to their recent acquisitions pertaining to the Lillard trade. And speaking of the Lillard trade, another recent acquisition that they just made was for that of Yusuf Nurkic. Nurkic gets sent to Phoenix along with Grayson Allen in a three-team deal that sends DeAndre Ayton and Drew Holiday to Portland and Damian Lillard to Milwaukee. Nurkic will play now for his third team of his career and last season he averaged 13.3 points to go along with 9.1 rebounds and 2.9 assists. Phoenix finally resolves their DeAndre Ayton problem and gets a quality big back in Nurkic who can come out and play his role to perfection. Nurkic biggest problem and only problem that I may add is that he has had trouble staying healthy these past couple of seasons. He's missed a combined 175 games over the past four seasons so I worry he just may not be able to keep up with the regular season and all the wears and tears that come along with that. But as far as just the individual talent that he brings back to Phoenix I love this deal. And if I'm being honest I love all the deals that Phoenix has made mostly because they address the glaring holes that they had within their bench. Now they've added the likes of Grayson Allen, Eric Gordon, Bobo, Nasir Little, Damian Lee, and Yuta Wannabe, who I believe will all have good individual seasons. The only concerns that I have left with this team is will they be able to gel and form some sort of chemistry, and how will they do on the defensive side of the ball? But they have all the talent and assets to rectify any deficiency that they might have had. I mean, I think that they've reconstructed their roster for the better. I mean, I can't get over how anyone is going to be able to stop these dudes. I mean, imagine Devin Booker running a pick and roll with KD and then throwing the extra pass out to Bill for the open three. That trio alone has a combined points per game average of 77. They're top heavy and stacked from top to bottom and any team in the league is going to have their work cut out for them facing the likes of this team. And that's all I got for the Suns. So y'all let me know what y'all think of the Suns latest acquisitions, how far y'all think they're going to go next season, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.